Hello there, YouTube. Long time no see. Um, I just wanted to make a update video and to show you guys some exciting stuff that I found. So, as for updates, one of the reasons why I haven't made a video in a long time is because we got uh, about 8 inches of rain in our basement and a lot of my stuff got destroyed. Uh, this is a lesson to everyone. Do not ever leave binders on the floor of your basement. Uh, it's been very, you know, hard to recover from that. But, uh, luckily nothing too expensive got damaged, but it was still, you know, a pretty traumatic experience to have all my, my stuff, you know, soaking in water. Uh, a lot of electronics got ruined, though, so that was unfortunate. So anyway, enough about the bad stuff. The good stuff is... I just came back from New York City, and I got an amazing haul of, of card stuff. As you can see, I got quite an assortment here, and I'm going to tell you guys what I found. So, first day, I hit uh, Chinatown and went to the Dual Terminal. So, I'm going to... I didn't actually play the Dual Terminal. Well, I, 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 I did play the Dual Terminal, but most of what I got was not from playing the Dual Terminal. I'll tell you what happened. It was weird. I went in... I put a dollar in one of the machines, and an old card came out. Uh, put a dollar in the other machine, another old card came out. So I went up to the to the guy who worked there, and I said, uh, What's up? You're supposed to have Dual Terminal 5, the second wave of stuff. And they're like, Oh, we do. So he pulled out a giant binder from behind the counter. He plopped it down on the counter, and apparently they got the stuff in, but instead of putting it in the machine like they're supposedly supposed to, he just opened up the boxes and stuck them in a binder and was selling them as singles. So, if you ask me, I thought it was a little bit shady, but uh, the good news is I could just buy everything that I wanted instead of, you know, just playing the dual terminal, but it was a little bit more expensive than luck. So, uh, so I bought basically all the Steel Swarm stuff. So, I got one Caucus Stag, uh, one Jira Stag. A mantis, um, two moths, three collars. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, it's still called collar. Uh, three scouts. Uh, this guy, Steel Swarm Cell, three of them. And one gatekeeper. Uh, oh, I, I stuck those in there too. I, I also bought, uh, in this store, I bought a, a gold series for. Nothing too special for the hollows, but these were just two commons I stuck in sleeves because they are actually decent with the deck, so I just stuck them with it. Uh, so I, I also... Oh, I also bought these. Uh, Gem Knight Sapphire, Gem Armadillo, two of them, and three... Oops, I didn't buy that. Three Velos. So for my Jurax. So now I have every Jurax all dual terminal fied. So... That was, oh, and uh, these two air bellums, which were two bucks each, so I figured that was not, not a bad price for a super. Okay, so now here's just, I'll just quickly go through the random stuff I pulled from playing a little bit. Uh, Nature Butterfly, Strategist of the Ice Barrier, Summon Skull, My Body is a Shield, Sacred Spirit of the Ice Barrier, Pr uh, Prominence, uh, Jurak Hera. Uh, Neo Flamvel thing, Lava Warrior, Fabled Kudabi Super, Alligator Sword Dragon, Arcana Knight, Discord, Dragoonity Corsica, Defusion, Kunai with Chain, that's a newer one, Spear Cretan, newer, uh, Searing Firewall, Infernity Necromancer, and Level Eater, which is cool. So, yeah, I, I only spent, I think that's like about 20 cards maybe that I spent on random stuff, so mostly I just bought that. So, I was very happy about that. Ne so next, the next day I went to the Wholesale District, and this is different than Chinatown, because not anyone can just walk in and buy this stuff. I've explained this in a another video, but um, basically you need to have a business ID. You need to have your own business to be able to buy wholesale, or at least in the store. And uh, so my dad has a business, so I was able to use his business ID to buy cheap stuff. For example, I got 
Generation 4 Special Edition box for 50 bucks, so half price, pretty much. I mean, if half price of retail if you bought them separately. So, that was a pretty awesome find. There was only one left of those. Uh, I got this Pokemon thing for 5 bucks. I already opened it. It was just two EX packs and a uh, Dominant Pearl pack. This trainer kit, which might have also been 5 bucks. It's a newer product, though. Uh... Silver Ultra Pro sleeves, like the 100 page 9 pocket sleeves, 10 bucks for 100, which is cheaper than I can get them online, so I was, I was pretty happy with that. A uh, ton of sleeves, I won't go through every single one, but they're all Deck Pro, my favorite company for cheap sleeves, and for storing, like th this is Pokemon size, because yeah, I like to store my Pokemon cards in the thicker sleeves, not just penny sleeves. So I got uh, 26 packs of sleeves, color, and clear, and this I was a random thing I found that was a dollar, and it's a premium pack, Japanese pack of Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, so it has all hollow, so I figured for a dollar, why not? And speaking of getting packs for a dollar, my favorite, favorite uh, find of the whole trip is right in this box, and it is a ton of packs of Japanese Pokemon cards for one dollar each. These are the original uh, Japanese packs that they're, they're guaranteed to come with a hollow. So I figured for a buck each, like, that's pretty nice. So, yeah, I got, I think there's uh, 46 or maybe about 50 packs in here. And I'll just take out one of each. So, I found uh, Neo, I'm not sure which number this is in Japan, but it's one of the later ones, and Neo Genesis, which is awesome, or Neo 1, I guess, uh, Fossil Pack, and Jungle. So, one of these packs, I'm going to try to find it, I should have done this before, but I opened one, hang on one sec, I opened a pack to just to make sure that you know, everything was legit, and I, I mean, it was a, it was a Japanese, uh, store, so I wasn't too skeptical of it. I was, it was just like, you know, one of those things too good to be true, because a dollar, even, even for Japanese cards, that's like really cheap, a dollar for a pack, so I opened the pack, and I got something cool. I got a Dragonite Hollow, and it is legit, of course, and I really like that card, because I never had it, so, so yeah. Uh, I'm gonna make a video opening those, and I'm shocked that I found those. Oh, and these things up front here, these, these were like a couple bucks, um, starter, or, I don't know, they're J Japanese, like, theme decks, it looks like. Japanese theme decks. I, I have no idea, like, if these are even real or anything, or, you know, if these are from the trading card game or from something else, but they just looked cool, and they come with, uh, cool coins is like an alakazam coin in that one which is really nice so if anyone knows anything about you know what these decks are that would be cool because i don't know what they are but <laughs> i got them so that is everything i got and stay tuned for opening of the generation force box stay tuned for openings of tons of japanese pokemon packs and this premium pack <laughs> i guess he'll be alone in his own video all right guys thanks for watching Bye bye